Decision 2020 tonight as the presidential election draws near. Now less than 60 days away, the FBI is ready to respond to election problems all across the nation. That includes Tennessee. News Force Alan Frio tonight joins us with what the FBI is doing to counter foreign interference in these elections. And Alan, you spoke to one of the top FBI agents here in Tennessee about how they're preparing to respond. What have you learned? Yeah, they're, they're doing a lot for the next 60 days. And as the clock ticks closer to November 3rd, keeping the election free from foreign interference is about as urgent as it could possibly get for the FBI. Last month, the GOP-led Senate Intelligence Committee confirmed special counsel Robert Mueller's findings that a foreign country sabotaged the 2016 presidential elections. It put even more urgency behind the plans to blunt any foreign interference in the 2020 elections. In 2016, the uh, government of Russia um, attempted to influence the election. How successful they were um, is hard to determine. Douglas Korneski, special agent in charge of the Memphis FBI field office, says agents will fan out across Tennessee ready to respond if and when an election problem crisis arises. On election day, we'll have command posts uh, set up. We'll be uh, gearing up. Uh, that's around the country as well as in Memphis and Nashville. Korneski says the response will be swift. We'll be prepared to respond to any attempted uh, hacks or other intrusions against our uh, infrastructure. One area of particular concern for the FBI is the Internet and social media, where fake sites spread disinformation at incredible speed. So, the agency is sharing information with social media companies. By sharing information with the private sector, we've actually been very successful in uh, kicking some of these uh, uh, fictitious entities on, on their platforms off. Bottom line for the FBI? We feel that Americans uh, should rightfully expect uh, that the electoral system is secure and accurate. Now, Special Agent Korneski also told me that besides social media disinformation, Russia has also used cyber attacks in the past, as they did in 2016, and uh, also funding to sabotage elections as well, something the FBI says they're keeping a very close watch on. Tracy?